Hey you guys, it's Megan. As always, I hope all of you are doing well. Very excited. As the title states, we have an unboxing. I'm always in a very good mood with you guys, but obviously I'm in a very good mood because we're doing an unboxing. You might notice something a little bit different in my background. I'll put this within the description box below, but it's basically a sh rotating shelf that holds your shoes and I really like it for my luxury shoes. And I might just do a luxury shoe collection because it's really getting to the point now where I'm loving luxury shoes as much as I'm loving luxury bags. Also wanna to mention to you guys the bag that I cannot stop wearing, literally, incessantly, I just cannot take it off. This gorgeous petite mall souple. What can I say? It's absolutely gorgeous and I love wearing it. It just stands out in such an elegant way. It feels so good on your hands. And I'll let you guys know I have an upcoming video on this gorgeous bag, detailed reviews, mod shots, things like that. I love it so very much and I want you guys to understand why I love it so very much because you might be interested in it. Before we get into this unboxing, the journey to the unboxing, if any of you guys have not subscribed to my channel, or in my luxury community by clicking on that subscribe button you see located right down there below on your screen. Also by clicking on that notification bell you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Not sure if you guys noticed, gotta point her out, this gorgeous Ellipse PM. I adore this bag so very much. I did do a detailed review. I did an unboxing. If any of you guys are interested in that, it's linked within the description box below. I included some vlog footage of the day that led me to the journey of the bag that was truly meant for me. Let me go ahead and quickly show you. Hey you guys, happy Saturday. So I'm in the best mood ever. Why? Because I'm in San Francisco. It's raining torrential. Yes, it is, but that's okay. But yes, I'm in San Francisco and a lot of you guys know I post when I come to San Francisco because I'm here on a mission, basically, to get a bag. <laughs> and there's two that I'm interested in from Louis Vuitton, the side trunk and the on the go GM. And the good news is the flagship store has it. There's also a Bloomingdale's that's very, very close by that has both bags. So that's a wonderful thing. There's also a Gucci, a new Gucci bag that was released that I'm interested in. So hopefully I'll be stopping by there. And also you guys, the bag that I'm wearing today is this beautiful petite mall souple. And I did wear my star trail boots, matches perfectly with the monogram black leather, gorgeous. So we're parking right now, you guys. Let's see what's to come. I'm very, very excited. All right, you guys, I have not been able to stop thinking about this bag for a reason. It's so pretty and beautifully crafted. I did choose the Ellipse PM over this bag, I'm not gonna lie but I still think this is a gorgeous bag. And it was made in Italy, and a lot of you guys know I love it when it's made in Italy, even more than France, because my dad was Italian, and yeah, there's just sentimental value in that. So I also think it's very cute when worn just as a little tote. I think it's adorable, I can't help it. Is it just me, or is this little baby wanna come home with me? It's absolutely adorable, so I'm loving it, you guys. I don't know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking she wants to come home with me, but there is another Gucci bag that I want to try on too, so. I don't know, I can't get this bag out of my head, so. I think there's a reason for that, what can I say? <laughs> another bag, you guys, I can't stop thinking about. I hope, I don't know what to do. I'm like, should I just get them both? But I try to be, I try to spread it out a little bit, you know, at least a week or something. <laughs> but yeah, I really love this style. I know the PM size is coming out soon, but I still love the GM. I think it's great for travel. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, really, it just is, right, for travel. And then also, I'm just loving the tote style look to this bag. It's really like here, you guys. Stick these straps in. I can show you. So cute. Just holding it like this, right? Absolutely adorable. And I've mentioned before how you just flip it around. It's like having another bag. You know, I consider the Emprom version, but I don't know. I kind of go back to the canvas. It's classic, so I don't know. I just tried on the side trunk on the go GM, love them both. It's a fun day, what can I say? I think a lot of you guys have an idea as to which bag this is because I have mentioned in recent videos that I cannot stop thinking about this bag. She comes in this beautiful box. Here we have the dust bag. Oh, you guys, I think, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys that watch me, you know my rule. I cannot use my bag until I unbox with you. So you can imagine how elated I feel. I might as well be a Louis Vuitton right now because <laughs> I'm like, I get to wear my bag now. So here we have, I can't, I just, I just can't. I mean, this bag, it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. I'm not going to lie. Here we have the beautiful, oh so gorgeous, stunning piece of work art. What can I say? <laughs> gorgeous. I think you guys know. I'm thinking 
side trunk. I love the fact that it comes with this strap right here to be worn tote style. Or if you'd like, this bag does come with, I'll go ahead and show you, this S-lock right here. You just pop it open, and the opening is so very easy. This canvas, you guys, is so very soft. But it does come with, and let me go ahead and briefly show you. It does have a microfiber material, and yay, this bag was made in Italy. So very important to me, just because when I saw it, I thought to myself, yes, this is a forever bag, and it will make me think of my dad, and I'm just glad that it's gonna be in my collection forever, it was made in Italy. What can I say? It's a wonderful thing. And then also the bottom of the bag looks like this. But going back to what I was saying about this strap right here, it does come with, oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot even tell you. This strap is absolutely amazing. You know why? Because it is adjustable. Not only is it adjustable, it's really, really adjustable for all heights and statures. <laughs> and I don't know why Louis Vuitton and other luxury fashion houses make adjustable straps when you know there's people out there i mean i don't think i'm that tall i'm five foot eight and i have other bags that have adjustable straps where i use chain extenders but with this one absolutely amazing it will fit any height any stature i love that about this bag also i do have the nano no way in the speedy nano and i was using chain extenders on those now i don't have to because i do have this pre-aged strap so that's definitely a plus but let's just get back to the point that i was trying to make about this strap right here when you wear the longer strap with this, this is an accessory charm right here. How beautiful is that? You don't need to add anything. I mean, I really like to dress up my bags from time to time. This bag, no, no, no. You don't need to do that. Louis Vuitton took care of that for you. So you can take this off, obviously, but I love that I can just let this hang down like so and then wear this strap with this cross body or over the shoulder. It's just absolutely wonderful. So I do think it's worth the price, but then again, in comparison to this petite mall souple, this comes in at about 500 US dollars less expensive than this one. By the way, I'll be doing a detailed comparison review in my next video. Please be sure to stay tuned in for that because it will be very, very good. But for now, so very happy to say I have this forever bag added to my collection. If you guys happen to have any comments or questions in regard to this wonderful purchase meant to be, please do leave those in the comment section below. I hope you guys know for those that watch me regularly and for those that don't, I'll just let you know. I love hearing from you. So now is the time within the video where I'm going to completely transition topics from speaking about luxury. As a lot of you guys know that follow me, that's what I do towards the end of my videos. For those of you that are new to my channel, that's what I do. I transition topics from speaking about luxury to speaking about something that's definitely more insightful, meaningful, and inspirational. Today is going to be a deep one, you guys. It's a good one. <laughs> I think so anyways. It's titled, They're Still With Us. What do I mean when I say they're still with us? I think a lot of you guys have an idea. I'm speaking of our past loved ones. When we initially lose a loved one, the heartache is almost unbearable. And I think a lot of you guys can relate to that. And a lot of you guys hear me say a lot on my channel. I reference my dad because I was so close to him. I truly was. But I've had so many other loved ones in my life that passed before him. I come from a big background family, Irish, Italian, and I'm the youngest of seven. And as a little girl, I went to a lot of funerals and I have a very deep spirit. And I would be at these big cathedral type funerals that were very, very sad but I would know within my heart that the person was still alive. I knew that as a little girl. I don't know why, but I just did. And I would ask God, where did they go? Now I could get really deep into this topic, but maybe that's for another day. But I was very inquisitive about that question. I truly wanted to know where they went. And when I was a little girl, I actually had a visitation dream from my great aunt that passed away. It was the night that she passed away. And I'll never forget waking up in my dream, having a lucid dream, which is what I experienced a lot of when I was a little girl, literally hundreds of those types of dreams. Not visitation dreams, lucid dreams. But this one was a lucid dream. It was a visitation dream with my great aunt. And yeah, long story short, she was saying goodbye to me. I didn't want her to leave. I knew that she had passed away and I didn't want her to go. And I kept telling her, no, I don't want you to go. I love you. I love you. She just kept giving me kisses on my cheek. And when I woke up, 
I found myself with just tears all over my face. I was crying in my sleep very hard. It was a very intense dream. And I remember having a visitation dream of my dad in the hug that I had from him. It's not like a hug you have here, yet it is, if that makes sense. And also a little tip that I learned from that visitation dream with my dad, if you ever wanna experience a little slice of heaven, hug somebody that you love for, you know, like 15 seconds you'll feel heaven definitely in that moment. I've done a lot of research, you guys, on near-death experiences. I read books, I watched countless testimonials, and there were so many common denominators. And maybe you guys have heard of these experiences where they're literally outside of their body and they're looking down on their body and they can hear other people in the other room, all that kind of stuff. Science can try to explain that all day, every day. But what science cannot explain is the unexplainable signs I have received from my loved ones. And I'm not just talking about visitation dreams i'm talking about actual science that science could just really never explain i love that movie the notebook i said to a friend today i'm quoting the notebook because it's true in that movie i remember the main character the man said science only goes so far and then there's god very very true i've always wanted to go over this topic on my channel and i guess it's just so deep that i've just kind of detoured away from it but I wanna get the message out there to all of you. I want all of you to know that whoever you lost in your life, they're still with you. They will never ever leave you. Love never ever dies, nor does the soul. So when you lose a loved one, they're always with you. They watch you, they protect you. Here's a common denominator that so many people had with their near-death experiences is when they say they don't want to stay in heaven because they know, they learn, they find out that they're able to have some sort of control for their loved ones behind the scenes. I've said that quite a few times for a reason in my videos, you guys. I say your loved ones are always with you. They're always working on your behalf. The reason I say that is because of that knowledge. And the reason I have that knowledge is because of the research that I've done. And also, I mean, we can think in our lives that things that go our way are just a coincidence. After all the research, I've done you guys I don't believe in luck <laughs> I believe everything just happens for a reason and when good things happen in your life there's a reason for it and a lot of times we could think to ourselves maybe we're running behind we're late or we get stuck in traffic but really it's a delay and we think it's setting us back but maybe a loved one or a guardian angel is working behind the scenes to prevent you from getting in a car accident or something terrible of that nature. They work to protect you. They love you. And of course, they're just always going to watch over you. So you guys, when it comes to this subject of losing a loved one, all I can say is love lasts forever. The soul lasts forever. Your past loved ones never truly leave you. They never, ever do. They're just not in this dimension. They're in a dimension that's very, very close. We just can't see it. And it's a lot closer than you realize. It's really just there and we just can't see it. But God did reveal to me when I was little through many, many, many dreams how it works. And I know all of our past loved ones would tell us this, exactly this. All is well, always has been, is, and always will be. Live your best life possible. Honor your loved one's spirit know that they're always working behind the scenes in your life. And I could really just go on and on about this topic. Perhaps I'll continue on with it and let you guys know of different experiences I had with my dad, especially during the hardest times of my life. He made his presence known. And yeah, hopefully in a future video, I can let you guys in on that. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have had experiences with your past loved ones. And you know what? If you're comfortable enough to share, I encourage you to share that in the comment section below. Because so many people do experience signs from past loved ones. But I do want to mention this. Many people do not. And that doesn't mean that your loved one is not there. Of course they are. And I guess I'll just end it like this with reiterating the fact that, of course, of course, our loved ones want us to be happy. They're working behind the scenes in our lives. They love us so very much. They never, ever leave. They just leave this dimension. I know 
heaven is definitely a lot happier than earth. And that gives us solace too, to know that our past loved ones are happy. We want them happy. Gotta tell you guys about a specific dream I did have of my dad that proves how happy he was. So anyways, you guys, that'll be it on the topic of they're still with us. If you guys happen to have any comments or questions on that topic that I did go over, again, I encourage you guys, if you did experience a sign from a past loved one and you feel comfortable sharing, please leave in the comment section below. Also, I forgot. Now I have that very, very happy feeling going on. <laughs> I did forget about my beautiful new side trunk. She's so perfect. Again, you guys, made in Italy. Of course, I'll think of my daddy. And of course, he wants me to enjoy this piece, which I definitely will. So yes, you guys, please do leave any comments or questions in the comment section below. Always love hearing from you. If you made it to the end of this video, Greatly, thank you. Next video, again, is going to be a comparison review between the side trunk and the petite mal souple. Which one is better? Detailed reviews. So definitely looking forward to that and releasing it within the next few days. Until then, I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Bye.